Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the channel. So I am heading towards Corbett today, and I have Lakshmi Kanji with me and Prati with me. So we are going to stay at a village called Balon, and uh, in this village, actually, the leopard and tiger activity is very good. So our primary objective is going to be like enjoy the weekend and enjoy the wildlife around that place because there is not much uh, like uh, hotels and resorts over there. We are staying at the Arawat. Uh, it is a newly built uh, hotel, you can say, and uh, it has dense forest just in front of it. So we are very excited. Uh, let's see. Uh, I hope that this weekend is gonna be full of adventures. We have one safari in Sitabani zone as well, and obviously uh, the tiger sighting chance in Sitabani is very less. It's probably less than five percent. but uh, it does not matter the forest is beautiful i have been there two years ago uh, but uh, obviously i could not see any tigers but uh, that does not mean that that forest does not have any tigers so this time whether or not i'll see a tiger does not really matter i just want to go to that habitat again and enjoy the place so stay tuned uh, this video is going to be little different from my other other vlogs but i hope that you guys are going to enjoy it we drove through the buffer zones of jim corbett national park the drive to our hotel arawat was extremely scenic on the both side of the road one can experience the beauty of nature often times people encounter the majestic big cats on this road itself A lot of times the big cats will actually cross this road in order to reach the other side of the jungle. So we decided to explore this same region during our night drive. So we have reached our property. This is behind me is the gate of Arawat, and just see what is there in front of me. Pure dense jungle, and this is where all the leopard and tiger activity happens. It's gonna be a like adventurous weekend, I guess. I'm really excited. So this is our room. the room is very spacious the beds are also very nice if you remove the curtains then this is the view that you get it's really beautiful just look at the view outside amazing very nice property So just now alarm calls were going on from this particular jungle and uh, the leopards actually preferred to move towards the human settlements uh, during the evening uh, to search for easy kills like dogs and all so these habitats that you can see all these places uh, the leopards will be coming to these spots once the sun is down So yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Let's see. And yeah, we'll be going for uh, the night drive as well. So we'll leave late evening after the sun is down. And also we will be setting up our trap camera just outside the gate to see if there is any potential movement or not. So let's see. so there is no calling now but uh, this is the spot from where the leopards cross and now this is the monsoon river a tiger was also seen here and 
just imagine i am staying just in front of this that is our car and the gate of adavat so the calling has stopped but uh, we are inside the jungle to place our trap camera this camera will check this part not sure if you'll we'll see anything but the trap is set so the leopard has killed a dog as you can see the jaw is still here and our trap is set there not sure if anything will be caught on the trap or not but yeah we are all set see this is a strong alarm call going on you can hear it we started our night drive around 7 pm in the evening our goal was to explore through the main road only without disturbing the wildlife this road is actually located at the buffer zone of jim corbett national parks sitabani zone Since this is a public highway one can easily explore this place during the night however one should definitely keep in mind not to speed or not to cause any harm to the potential wildlife around the first wildlife that we encountered during our drive was a commoner it was a jackal a lot of times these wildlife falls victim to the speeding cars So it is my heartfelt request to all of you please do not speed while driving in the forested areas After clicking the jackal we again started to explore the place and then we found a big group of spotted deer eating grass in a nearby grassland the spotted deers are the most common animal found near these areas generally after the sunset the spotted deers move towards human settlement in order to save themselves from the predators despite being a common species the spotted deers plays a very crucial role for the tigers to survive without food the tigers definitely cannot survive and the other food options that the tigers have are actually declining since the samba deer population is drastically declining it is extremely crucial for the spotted deer to thrive in these forests After observing the spotted deer we started to drive back to our hotel and then suddenly we heard strong alarm calls of a samba deer which indicates the presence of a tiger There is strong samba alarm call is going on We have turned off all the lights is a confirmed call tiger is nearby not sure if we will be able to see it so the samba call has stopped we are waiting we are expecting the tiger to cross the road but let's see anything can happen now the call has resumed so the tiger is definitely nearby but whether we will get to see it or not 
totally depends on luck. You guys can hear the alarm call. So we'll wait here for a while. Let's see. We waited at that spot for almost an hour, but the tiger did not came out. Also, in the morning I checked the trap camera footages and there were no signs of any big cats either. But despite that, the strong alarm calls of the Samba deer is good enough to confirm the presence of the big cats in this area. If you have enjoyed this video, I'll request you to subscribe to the channel. I'll be coming back with more videos like this. Until then, bye.